Tis the season for getting boozy. So in the spirit of the season, we're taking a taste from a red bottle and a green bottle. And here to explain is Market Watch's Charles Passy with the Weekend Sip. Hey. Charles, good to see you. Pleasure as always. Thank you for bringing the colors of the season <laughs> with you. Let's start with the red bottle. Right, okay. Well, uh, the red bottle is uh, Boodle's Mulberry Gin. This is a really good uh, British gin that has come out. Well, Boodle's, the regular gin came out. And they recently added this mulberry one. It's basically a version of uh, a slow gin, which is essentially a gin-based liqueur. Is gin normally, traditionally, a holiday spirit? I don't think of gin as a holiday spirit, but okay. when, you, when you actually add some berries and some color to it, it starts to feel a little more festive or whatever. Direction. So well, this let's one, give it a try. Yeah, it's, it's, Cheers, it's, 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 Charles. It's sweet. Oh, but I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like, it's, it's I like really, that little bit of it's really, it's really, it's really <laughs> yeah, pleasant. It's yeah, really, it's really fun. Um, you know, this, this is just, I mean, you can use it in a holiday punch, yeah. but I think it's fine on its own. Yeah. I love the color. Um, and it does have a real nice taste it, of mulberry. It does. So, yeah, no, so. I mean, you know, I, I absolutely would drink that alone. Right. I don't need to mix that with anything. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the green bottle. Right. There aren't too many green sips out there. Yeah, I, 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 so this is part of a column I do every year called the 12 Bottles of Christmas. And every year I get stuck because I want to pick a red bottle. It's a lot of choices, red wine. Green, a little bit tougher. <laughs> Last year I went with Irish whiskey, which isn't actually green, but I thought, well, it's green in spirit. Right. Um, so this is an absinthe, um, uh, which it's has... a real absinthe. A real absinthe. You know, it's been legal in this country for a few years now. And now what's kind of nice is the brand that first came forward was a brand called Lucid. Now the same, basically the same people behind Lucid have introduced kind of the next iteration, which is a, a line called Jade, which is, I would call it boutique absinthe. These are based on very old French or European recipes for this spirit. Now, doesn't absinthe make you hallucinate? That was the the old the, the old days, and old that was formula. basically yes, it was was this ingredient called wormwood, which is in it, um, and and yes, there was there was that thing, but it, that was bad absinthe. Okay. Good absinthe does not make you hallucinate. So we so shouldn't be worried we about should, taking we should a not be sip worried of this or whatever. on a um, work day. <laughs> all right, now let's see. Mmm. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm not going to lie. It's not a question about hallucinating. Absinthe is not for everybody. Strong. <laughs> well, it's strong, high alcohol. This is high Whoa, proof. Whoa, yeah. But it's also got that really forward anisette flavor. Yes. I mean, it is real. If you don't like licorice, you're not going to like it. I do absinthe. like the licorice part. Okay. All right. I do. It's strong. Um, you know, I should mention we are having it neat the classic way, or you can have it neat, and I think you really want to have it neat first to appreciate the flavor, but you do want to water this down. It's a technique called luching. It's very famous in absinthe circles. You add water, you can add a cube of sugar. There's essentially a way to make this a little more palatable. That's what I would have but, to do. <laughs> but, but I do think what you can appreciate is kind of the richness of yes, this. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, so, yeah. And it also looks great on the table. Yeah, great there label. We go, there we got go. the holiday spirit. So, so I achieved the red and green thing this I'll year. I'll stick so. to the gin. You can have the absinthe. Okay. And we'll have a great party. Thank all you. All right, so much, all right. Charles. Cheers again. Cheers. So. That was great.